stars above. Um, some kind of sky fi adventuring, I don't know, third version, exploring, exploration, very, very maybe. Lots of nice uh, settings. Remapping is nice. All the layout. And. Uh, Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem like they might not be able to remap the controller. That's not so good. Mouse have the volume for game. Nice option for the graphical. As you can see, here I'm running in super ultra wide, and it's very nice that it supports it. 120 frame and everything. Yes, perfect here. Could be good with that, right? Oh, do, 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 do. Let's see what frames we get. <laughs> uh, yes. So, scores about. Not really sure what it is. Uh, using Steam Crawl here in um, gamepad mode. Let's uh, start with the normal difficulty here. See what happens. Keep switching to keyboard. Weird. Okay, so the cutscene is actually not in ultra or super ultra wide. It's 16 by 9 with black bars on top and bottom. Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike! Anyone? Where are you? What right. is this place? So again, everything is centered so far, so that's why I'm trying recording here in... Uh, ...playing in super ultra wide and recording 16x9. What's happening? Who was that? Where, where am I? Let me turn on my FPS meter so I can see what the performance is. Always forget to do that. That's bar. Like it's running smooth here. In high settings, looks nice, atmospheric. Bit of an uncanny valley right on the face, but other than that, nice model here. Alright, that's nice. The HUD is centered at 16 by 9. We probably could use to increase the font. Can you do that? Do 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 do. It looks like it. Oh, you can here. That's too large, but the HUD. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can increase that text. But not the HUDs. <laughs> what did I do? A button. What does the A button do? Use me real quick. What really? A is interact, B is dodge and wall, and uh, E button, E button is dodge and wall and that, and A is interact, right, so we don't have a jump, 
Might want to change that later on, but okay. It seems to work better than uh, previous games with... Where did she go? With my uh, gamepad set to yeah, joystick, mouse joystick. There we go. Do you climb with B? Seems like climb should have been with, with A, with the interact button, but alright. Fine. So far we haven't really learned anything else. Oh right. Uh I think I'm gonna just quickly there we go. So yeah, I kind of like a uh, bit of a myster mystery duration here trying Jaifi about the Persian game why we're getting here. How is this possible? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? Oh, oops, wrong. I don't know how much uh, of like if it's gonna be looting, crafting or anything, but I'm um, yes, I wanted to try just give this demo a little bit of a try. Looked very nice. Like it has some cool graphic going for it. Which way are we going? No the real map. Seems to be running really well so at the moment. Getting 120 stable frames right here. My RTX 3070. AMD 5600 X. No stuttering. Super smooth. Yes, we just walk around exploring here. Could run, but I don't really know why I should be running. So oh, there's one way down there, and there's one way here. Oh. Yes, that's the right way. A little bit of over like this kind of glossiness there, but looks uh, damn good. This game overall. Follow and follow where? Out in the field, or some sort of alien structure. Mm -hmm. Emergency signal. It must be someone from the team. I have to get to them. Really nice. Most of the HUD are in the are in the middle. My objectives are out of 
view, but I think that's fine. Um, my objective is in search of scars, investigate the emergency signal. Now we have like a goal to go to. Yeah, most of the HUD seems to be you're not really losing a lot by me recording, so I'm gonna keep recording it like this. The debris, it's it's from the Hermes. It must have splintered off when the ship entered the atmosphere. Yeah, and uh That was uh, a scar field backpack. <sighs> Empty, but all right, it's gonna be looting. Yeah, this electric cutter can cut through even the toughest materials. I'd better take it with me. Okay, oh, that was a tiny, tiny little thing. What, what the hell? Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, so we can cut through that. Okay, the inventory unfortunately is outside green. Uh, but it's pretty standard. I think it's fine for the demo here. Not having to redo it. Kind of weird. The inventory should have been fine being centered. Not sure why they put it all the way to the right. Or made it a more of a full screen thing here. But it's just uh, like like a small bar on the right side of the screen here. That's again like quite small text. Hmm. Oh, is this going to be combat? Oof. Log entry. A joint legged invertebrate life form, similar to Arachnida. Fast movement, small frame. Seems to move in groups. Okay. That's. Oh. How do you. Oh. You can't see that, but again, they, they chose to put the menu all the way to the right. It would have been nice to more of a center, especially in this case when, you know, it's a full screen view. The menu that I'm browsing would have just been right to, like, what you see on the on the screen there. Uh, it would have been better for a super ultra wide screen experience. So it's gonna be looting and that. So far it seems interesting. Uh, problem is if it's going to be a lot of heavy like crafting and stuff, that's going to be They're dead. That's going to be uh, not my type of game, but hmm. miss the traditional water. Look as good. I still, uh, I think, like, it was unreal looking, looking better with like water rings. <laughs> this, I'm guessing, this might support HDR, right? It seems like a more advanced engine game made here, but this is no sign of it uh, in the settings. Otherwise, I would have tried, right? For it again if a game supports HDR it would be uh, very important you know have some kind of indication of it in the Must menus gate of some but I can see this but there's no obvious locking mechanism 
you can see this game with this one kind of stuff would be very beneficial from a nice HDR. Okay, so it's a little bit of a puzzle solver, I'm guessing. We get a... If I scan the gate, perhaps I'll find a way I through. I try that. Log entry. The gate has an internal conduction system. The three points on the rim seem sensitive. A targeted blast of electricity could cause a reaction. So, how do I do that? Log entry. The gate has an internal conduction system. Okay, so you can system. replay the it. The three points on the rim seem sensitive. A targeted blast of electricity could cause a reaction. Yeah, but there I don't... There has to be something around here I could use to open the gate. I should look around. Are we guessing down... Oh, look. Convenient. Oh, you have to hold. Log entry. This plant doesn't have any chloroplasts, which means it can't conduct photosynthesis. Strange. The premise, right, is uh, we crashed, right? And we don't remember, or we no, we don't crash. Like we must have been like on some kind of planet and then we've woken up on some other planets oh right i need to cap that one Bing. oh we need to hold again acoustic current just a bit we don't want to fry the coil there awesome we did it kate I remember this. Mike and I were finishing our electrical experiment just after lunch. Nice. Uh, seems so far like a quite interesting game here. I don't like that the press open log is open every single time do you, you do a scan or something. Um. I have some kind of lorry to go through. Oh, right. Jesus. Um, on screen to oh, uh, tutorials. Uh -huh -huh. I don't think. Nope. Nothing to turn off. Just the. Uh, New, new log entry menu. This again, this is a weird thing. <laughs> Vera, it's still intact. We got a gun. Can we switch? So we can switch between those. Ooh, okay, so we shoot with that. And can I cut? cut Alright. Cut with left. Right trigger. And we can shoot with left. And now we can... Yes, and shoot the gate. I don't think I need to reload again. So this is fine, but when we are aiming, this is bad. 
What? Oh, I died. Yes, yeah, that one died. That sucked. So there's no manual saving. So let's see where the auto checkpoint is. I probably should use a keyboard and mouse configuration. Um, now it's much better than previous. I want it to be the same. Let me turn on something here on my control. Er, just bugged out. Oh, there we go. Okay, the Steam OLE seems to be freaking out. Come on, you can do it, Steam Controller. Here we go. What happens? That's going to work. Probably we need to increase the... Oh, this is... Oh no, I have my gun. So I have the gun, but I'm... Oh. Ah. Yeah, much better when I can gyro aim. A little bit. Not perfect. Mouse and keyboard, if I were to play this game seriously from start to finish, I would go for uh, mouse and keyboard. It's just the mouse input is much, is much more stable. This works though, but it, you, you lose a bit of precision, but uh, I think it's fine. But you get a gun, it auto saves, puts me back. Wow. I don't have to fight that weird dude. <laughs> Very promising this game, I gotta say. Even though there is a little bit of looting, it's nothing that puts me off that bad. Just be right moving, alright. Sorry for the shakiness. Uh, maybe we should ooh, try that. Oops, damn it. Yeah, it's just. It's not a good. Uh, not perfect as like the mouse input, the. Uh, the joystick, yeah. Thing. I am slowly losing health here. How? What do I do about it? Uh, log. This is it. These are small amount of demo time when it reads. A resistant booster. Okay, but if I don't have a resistant booster, Vera, I'm gonna die because I don't have a resistance booster. That sucks. Log entry. Salivary glands concentrated in the head enable the creature to discharge a venomous secretion. Muscular tissue is highly susceptible to fire. Feels like I'm moving through entrails. Not oh, more tox, everything's toxic. Damn. Well, I might I'm gonna die again, this <laughs> Okay, a little bit annoyed about that. 
introduction here of that. But ah, we, we learn, but still, it's a little bit unnecessary. It is so early here in the game, or demo or anything, but all the way back here, this is this is the most ridiculous thing in a game like this. I would have had more autosave. Yeah, this is just annoying. Getting really annoying. Can I pick it up? No. Max capacity. Gavel. Can I use that? Electric at the Vera. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's just ammo. I needed something else for the toxic thing. I could just turn up the auto aim for this uh, to kind of power through easier, but not that necessary, especially when I know that I could just switch to mouse and keyboard. Uh, let's try something. It does seem to support dual input. I could just enable mouse look. Uh, that's nice. I like that. This is another good developer. Not locking you out to using one uh, specific uh, you know, input. I stole it. Nice thumbs up. Good developer. Like... Um, the auto shake point that I would have liked to have here, that's a minor thing. It's not a huge thing. I don't know. There might be a shake point just, just a little bit ahead. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I know how to do this. To shoot through the enemies and stuff like that. So, uh, it's just that's a little bit jittery here. And it probably would be better if I just turn on the mouse. Mouse look. And you know, you have auto aim and everything, so it's uh, not the combat actually feels quite nice. That is, it's jittery if because both I'm standing and I'm using joystick, uh, mouse joystick on the Steam controller. Yeah, but this supports dual inputs, so we could just try to switch it, see how it you know works. I'm guessing that if you switch it, it's going to like flicker back and forth with the. Uh, uh, the input displays because I don't think you can. No, you can't force if it's going to be always going keyboard or gamepad input, so it would flicker. Feels like I'm moving through entrails. Yeah, you see, you know. It's not a huge deal here. <laughs> Combat is nice. I just got surprised. I haven't gotten used to it, so. Log entry. Large joint-legged organism. The chemicals in its abdomen can create an explosion when heated to a certain temperature. I think about 30 minutes for demos is good to be able to uh, upload as quickly as possible and keeping them down and... I don't want to show all the demos if you want to play the demo yourself. Uh, which, if you like it, you should. And this is a good experience. This isn't my type of main super game, but so far, I don't feel that I need to stop it. I feel it still is very engaging. Um, you still, you know, gonna play. And even after the video here, I'm gonna keep it. And if I have time before the demo might disappear, I'm gonna keep playing it. It really is interesting and start messing around with like all keyboard binding or mixing up with uh, you know the mouse look and everything hopefully there is a save point uh, would be nice so i don't quit or that
that's ammo. This is some new thing here. Log entry. I found a strange alien cube. It's emitting neural waves. This means it has the potential to send information directly to the brain. Another one of these pillars. The only thing that bothers me is to press open log that's open there all the time. I'm sure that maybe turning off the tutorials could fix that. Yeah, thank you. So it's perfect place here. We get another save point here. Uh, it's perfect to end here and for you to try this game and demo. Activate and saving, right? Press to interact. Uh, refills healthier. Yeah. Limit blah blah blah, but also the enemies accept. Here we have a save point, so yeah, it's fine. Maybe more traditional auto say checkpoint more. A bit more close, it would have been, been more my preference since it's not my super main genre or anything, but fine. Uh, can I do fix uh, it to the main menu? Yes, so but yeah, I think it's good to uh, play around 30 minutes, some takes uh, you know 30 to 45 minutes of uh, these demos and. It's good that I don't think that so far any, uh, any demo I've showed everything. So if you're interested, it has a little bit of an extra to try yourself. Um, but this was a really good experience for something. I wasn't... I just got this because it looked... You know, I like the sci-fi feel. But I was very unsure about the uh, kind of main game type. But so far, the, this little bit of looting and everything has been really really great and I, the combat here has felt pretty damn solid um, it might not be the top of the line but it's been very good so as I said I'm gonna if I make it before this game might take this demo offline I'm gonna definitely keep playing this and if you want you're also free you know, to request me uh, to try to make a follow up video of finishing the demo if you for some reason cannot do it yourself I definitely try to fix that one but graphics it runs great it looks nice it has a nice atmosphere like the voice acting the, in the musical ambience uh, controller here has been fine uh, the gyro aiming was helping me there aiming I don't know how you guys aim with dual sticks I just never do it since it was first introduced in the playstation was it playstation 2 playstation 1 had it but not really many games but you know playstation 2 that's when i stopped playing fps games and stuff like that on uh, consoles it's just i cannot do it i absolutely despise gaming with dual sticks um, so when my steam controller dies and there's no steam controller too I will be forced back to mouse and keyboard, unless another great controller can, comes along. Maybe some controller with gyro aiming, because that really saved me in this game when it came to aiming. Here, the gyro aiming, so much smooth and nice. I'm sure I couldn't aim if I had like proper mouse input and everything, but yeah. But we're gonna stop the, you know, demo here. I don't think I have any huge, you know. You know negative here to say it's just that i personally i don't love the checkpoint system I prefer more of a tra you know auto a closer auto save checkpoint in games like this um like in i think kina bridge of spirits had this had it like that system it just auto saves and it is kind of and they are kind of close so you don't have to back progress too much and stuff like that other than that like solid like this is what I want from a demo because this feels like I'm playing a final product there's no huge bugs there's no huge weirdness the menu seems complete the game seems complete uh, you know 
like this gives me a good representation of the game that I can see I'm I'm happy to look forward to. I'm gonna I might might actually you know keep this on a wish list on Steam just to keep a mind on uh, the price and stuff like that. It might not be something I did dive into immediately when it comes out uh, if this price tag is you know 60 euros no most likely not is it not a um, main favorite genre of games but it is intriguing so yeah thanks for watching and if you like this uh, video you know you can always like follow whatever and if you like the demo you should definitely if you have the computer to run it uh, go check it out because if i like it that isn't Invested in games like this, you if you are invested in games like this, you're probably gonna enjoy it, I feel. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next video and have a good day.